Hello everyone, Mark Gurney from Ruger here. Thank you for joining us on this video. We're here to show you the new Ruger American Rimfire Target model. Ruger has been in the top of the Rimfire game for years. The Mark series pistols, the 1022, uh, 7722 SR22 pistol, and now the Ruger American Rimfire. So it takes the great features of the Ruger American centerfire rifles, puts them in the Rimfire, with the added bonus of 1022 style magazines. So available in 22 long rifle, uses a 1022 magazine, and also available in 22 mag and in 17 HMR like this model. So this new target model features a soft rubber butt pad, this nice laminated stock, tang safety, a one piece scope rail, the Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger, a very nice, light, crisp trigger, adjustable and pull weight. And most importantly, this heavy contour target barrel, capped with a half 28 barrel threads, will really help you get the most out of your accuracy work and really enjoy shooting this new Ruger American Rimfire. So you can see the Ruger American Rimfire target model at your local firearms retailer or learn more at Ruger.com. Thanks for joining us. CZ 557 Sporter. The CZ 557's receiver is machined from steel billet and has integral 19 millimeter scope dovetails milled into its top for mounting a scope. It has a short extractor and plunger style ejector giving it smooth operation and enhanced ejection. Equipped with a two position safety, the bolt can be saved while the rifle is on safe. To top it off, it comes with a fully adjustable trigger that allows the owner to tune weight, creep, and over-travel to their liking. Clad in American-style walnut, the new action is paired with CZ's legendary cold, hammer-forged, factory-lapped barrel. The resulting rifle is destined to be Browning Lever Action Rifle, or BLR. It is the modern lever action gun. And I say modern because it has a detachable box magazine which allows for pointed bullets, which you can't do with a tubular magazine. So if you like lever actions and you want a modern cartridge, this is the gun to have. And it is full featured. It has a rack and pinion lever, which makes it extremely smooth. It's got a hammer with a fold down for an added measure of safety. It has an aluminum alloy receiver, so it's nice and lightweight. The bolt locks up into a barrel extension like the BAR does with a rotary, a rotary head on the bolt. And for those that travel a lot, and when size is an issue, we have a takedown model. <laughs> Hi, Ron Spomer here with my new favorite fun gun. This is Winchester's model 1866. As the name suggests, it was created in 1866. Oliver Winchester took the old Henry rifle and he improved it. He put a loading gate back here so you could run rounds up into the tubular magazine and he put a forend on it so you didn't get burned holding onto the barrel. Well, this set the world on fire. From here on out, everybody wanted a Winchester because it was a repeating rifle. No more muzzle loading, no more single shots. You had all the ammo you needed in that tube. Well, they still make this beautiful rifle. The Yellow Boy, it's called, because it has a brass receiver. And it's now chambered for something that's easy to get and easy to fire, the 38 Special. You can load this baby up and plink with it, take small game with it. Someday I might even try hunting a deer with this 38 because through a rifle barrel, of course, you get much better ballistics than you would with a handgun. But the ammunition is inexpensive and easy to find, and the Yellow Boy rifle is true to its original. It still does all the things it did back then. It's exactly the same engineering, and it's a beautifully balanced rifle, and it's just fun to operate. If you're like me, you've a lot of rifles of bold actions and single shots and ARs, fun guns, right? Try a lever action if you really want to have some fun and go back to your historic roots. The Winchester Model 1866 is a great way to do it. Wow. Wind. Jim Ross here with Daniel Defense, and today I'm very excited to talk about the DDM 4A1. The M4A1 is renowned for its durability and its utilization throughout the special operations community over the last 10 years. The DDM 4A1 rifle was designed to withstand the harshest conditions that an end user could throw at it. This is the reason Special Operations Command chose this rifle as its duty rifle. This rifle ships standard with a 14 and a half inch pinned and welded barrel 
with an extended flash hider, making the overall length of the barrel 16 inches and therefore not an NFA item. The gun also ships with our RIS-2 rail system. In this configuration, you're seeing it in flat dark earth, but you can also get it in black, and then you can also get the entire rifle in mil-spec plus. The reason the RIS-2 is so reliable and durable is number one, it's very, very robustly built. It's a larger rail system than the rest of our lineup, and it has a much more robust bolt-up system in the back of the rifle. The rifle is also gonna ship with our Ding of the Fence rail panels, which make for a very comfortable feel on those Picatinny rail sections. Much like the other rifles that we have in our lineup, they're all going to ship with an ambidextrous selector lever. This particular rifle is gonna ship with a mil-spec trigger and our new Ding of the Fence grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. I can guarantee you, if 